Hey there, future medical rock stars. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of epinephrine. This drug is like the lead singer in the band of cardiac arrest treatments. You'll find it hogging the spotlight in every cardiac arrest scenario, regardless of the rhythm. Let's dive into how this wonder drug does its thing. Picture epinephrine as that popular kid at school who everyone wants to be buddies with. It clicks with alpha-1, beta-1, and beta-2 receptors, kind of like how the popular kid bonds with everyone. The way it interacts with these receptors depends on how much of it is present. This dose-dependent interaction can be a bit complex, but here's the gist when it comes to treating bradycardia and cardiac arrest. Epinephrine cranks up the systemic vasomotor tone. That's thanks to alpha-1 agonism. It's like cranking up the volume on your favorite song. This leads to an increase in diastolic blood pressure and coronary perfusion pressure. So, in plain English, it helps get your heart's blood flow back to normal. On top of that, its interaction with the beta-1 receptor boosts the heart's contractility and rate. So it's like giving your heart a much-needed pep talk to get it back in the game. Now let's talk about how much of this stuff we should be using. For an adult having a cardiac arrest, we're looking at 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes administered intravenously or intraosseously. If it's bradycardia, we're dialing it back to 2 to 10 micrograms per minute, adjusting to how the patient responds. For the kiddos, if they're having a cardiac arrest, we're going with 0.01 mg per kilogram every 3 to 5 minutes, again intravenously or intraosseously. If there's no IV or IO access and we have an endotracheal tube, we can give 0.1 mg per kilogram every 3 to 5 minutes. But remember, the max dose is 1 mg. The dosing for pediatric bradycardia is the same as for cardiac arrest. Let's talk some basic pharmacology. Epinephrine is like that friend who always shows up on time. Its onset is within minutes, and its effects also last within minutes. But like any other drug, epinephrine isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It has some side effects, too. These include a rapid heartbeat, high blood pressure, headaches, anxiety, heart palpitations, sweating, nausea, vomiting, weakness, and tremors. But don't panic. When it comes to life-threatening situations like cardiac arrest or bradycardia, the benefits of using epinephrine definitely outweigh these side effects. And that's the scoop on epinephrine. If you found this deep dive interesting, you'll definitely want to check out our other videos on cardiac arrest treatments. We've got a whole playlist lined up just for you. So go on, hit that subscribe button and join our medical rockstar community. Want more? Head on over to medschool.com for all things medical education. Keep learning, keep growing, and most of all, keep saving lives.